This is the Valley View Interlocking Pounding Landscape Edging. Let me show you what I'm doing. Then I'll show you how easy this stuff is to put together. I figured it out. Put a little trench in here. I'm kind of building a French drain along the side here, and I want to put some kind of edging up that I can pound into the ground. Since it's wet right now, it looks real easy. I want to keep this mulch from pouring into this little trench I made. I thought this stuff would do the trick. I got about 20 foot to the end right there, so I got two boxes. So it arrives in a box just like this. It's stacked inside the box just like this. You just pull it out, and you're good to go. It's got the little interlocking guys on one side and the holes on the other side. So to me, it looks like you, you, know, you snap it into place. But the easiest way to actually do this is just slide it into place, just like that. And you've got flexibility on it. Super simple. Way easier than the way my brain thought to do it the first time. So each of these sections right here is about six inches long and about five inches tall, just so you know. And thickness wise, it's about a quarter inch thick right here. So it literally took me about two minutes to put this together. My 10 foot section is sent fully assembled. And you can see how flexible it is. And you can see we've got little spikes here to help us drive it into the ground. So let's give it a shot, see how it works. Just for the record, using a rubber mallet. And here it is pounded in up to a certain point. So I'm gonna put 10, 10 more feet on here. But as you can see, my yard is completely soaked right now. So yours might not go in as easy as mine. Or you might want to soak the ground before you put it in. And this stuff just went in really super smooth. There it is. It's installed. I just have to brush the mulch down on the other side of it, and I'm good to go. The beginning of me unboxing it to assembling it and making this whole video and putting all this stuff in took me about 20 minutes. I noticed as I'm pounding it in the ground, some sides slide up. So what I did is I, on the second set of 10, I just kind of forced it into the ground with my hand and went and tapped it along to get it all straightened out and to keep the sides from sliding up. I think it worked pretty good. I think it looks good. I like it.